Going to be doing some battery maintenance here on the Lightning. And get into uh, testing this battery and cleaning it up. I'll show you uh, how to check and see if you're losing some of your charge to the battery case. A lot of times when the top of the battery gets dirty, you can actually lose voltage to the case. So I'm going to show you how to check that and fix that. I'm getting to do a, a load test and uh, going to check the water and all that. Make sure this thing's tip top. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Let's do it. Alright, so first thing I want to take a look at. Well, number one, make sure you got your gloves on and your eye protection. You don't want to get battery acid in your eyeballs. So, if you take a look, it actually looks a little wet around here. Around this cap. So, first thing I'm going to do is do an open circuit test. Turn the meter on. Put the positive lead on the positive terminal. Negative lead on the negative terminal. We're at 1251. 1250, which is good. If we were at like 1240, you want to put a charge on it. 1240 and below, you definitely want to put a charge on it. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, let me move this over here so you can see everything. I'm going to put the positive lead onto the positive terminal and then that area that looks wet, I'm going to touch the negative lead to it. Look at that, I'm losing 11 volts to the case. Look at that, it's ridiculous. So this means the top of the battery needs to be cleaned off because we're actually losing voltage to the case of the battery. So to do that, I'm just gonna use some paper towels. And then, you know, there's two spray glass cleaners that I like to use. This stuff is like super foamy. So I like using this to, like a lot of times when I'm detailing, I'll use this like on the R6, like cleaning a wheel, something like that, where you want the foam to lift a lot of grime up. But I think on the battery, I'm just gonna use the invisible glass. This stuff is, it's not as foamy. And it's actually, it's really good for cleaning glass. Like if I'm gonna clean glass, I usually use this stuff. I really use the this uh, spray way more for like, just cleaning parts, more detail stuff. But sometimes it comes in handy for other stuff, but I really like the way the invisible glass cleans glass and then sometimes for cleaning parts. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of towels. First thing I'm gonna do is just kind of dry wipe the top of this off. Get all this loose dirt off of here. You know, sometimes just doing this will go a long way towards not losing voltage to the case. You know, I see a lot of videos where guys will clean the top of a battery with baking soda, and you can do that, but do not sprinkle baking soda all over this and just flood it with water. You do not want the water and baking soda to get into the cells. Okay, so if you see someone doing that, not a good idea. That baking soda is going to get into the cells and start neutralizing the acid in there. You don't want that to happen. So if you're going to clean it with baking soda, you know, get a cup, put some baking soda in there. It doesn't take much. Get some steam distilled water to put in there. Mix it up. Get a little brush and you'll see it kind of start fizzing and bubbling. And uh, that bubbling is the baking soda neutralizing the acid. So, you can do it that way. Like I said, I like using glass cleaner sometimes. I like to just saturate the towel. Get in here. Wipe it off. 
you know, while you're wiping, feel the case of the battery, you know, is it is it bulged out? Is it distorted? You know, you could have a you could have a plate that's starting to go bad and you'll actually feel it on the casing. You'll feel it distort the case of the battery. Now obviously the best way to do this is to just completely disconnect the battery You get the terminal brush on there and do all that. So the other thing I want to do is I'm going to pop these caps up and uh, check the water level. So got a long handle screwdriver. It's gonna get in here. Pop these caps up. Look at all the garbage down there. Just wanna gently prime up. Don't wanna go gorilla on this stuff. You want to try to wipe this stuff without dumping it into the cells. Those terminals are actually looking pretty dirty, so I'm just gonna get those off of there, clean them up. Eight millimeter sockets gonna do both terminals. Take the negative off first. Gonna have to put a 10 millimeter end wrench on here. All right, got them both off. So just checking each cell. Looks like they're all pretty full. The plates are submerged. This one cell here looks like it's low. So I've got this battery filler. Make sure you use steam distilled water only. Go get a gallon of steam distilled water to fill this battery with, just like your cooling system. You don't want any minerals in the water.
All right, so we got all the cells filled up properly. Come back and snap the caps back on. Now, when you go to use this battery brush, these bristles are actually angled, so you only want to turn this clockwise, okay? Don't go counterclockwise, it's going to force the bristles the other way. Just get it on the terminal, spin it clockwise. Do the same thing with your wires. Let's get the brush in there, twist it clockwise. So now that we got the battery cleaned off, good voltage. So you just want to probe around the caps to check and make sure you're not losing voltage anymore. Looks like this one's good. And uh, going to do a load test on this real quick. Gonna make our connections. Top of the battery says it's 850 cold cranking amps. Set it to 850. Push the test button. So it says we're at 811. And it's okay. Hopefully that's showing up on the camera here. All right, so load test is good. That's all solid. Just got to reconnect the battery now. Always do your positive lead first. don't want to go crazy tightening this up just get it snugged same thing with the negative lead
All right, looks like we're all good. One of the last things I like to do, this truck has an onboard battery maintainer. So I just like to double check that it's working. Get it plugged in. You can see the voltage is going up, it's climbing. Breaking 1270. So that verifies that the battery is taking a charge. So that's all set. All right, so going back to, if you saw the video about this battery monitor, the other way we can verify that that maintainer is charging the battery is to use this. So we can see we're up to 1270. You know, fully charged battery is about 1260 is fully charged. Unless you have an AGM, AGMs are usually around 1280, but they're pretty similar. So. As you can see, the voltage is going up. That verifies that that charger is. Once you start getting over 1260, you know that it's charging the battery. All right, I've got the battery maintainer unplugged. You do not want to start the vehicle with the maintainer on there plugged in, so make sure you unplug it. And anytime I disconnect the battery, the first start, I'll just turn the key on. and wait. Yeah, I like to just turn the key on and give the vehicle a chance to kind of run through. You know, you're, you're basically bringing the power back on for the first time, so I'm not a big fan of just, you know, starting it up right away. Turn that key to the on position and let the car relax for, you know, 10 seconds and fire it up. All right, guys. There it is. Got the water topped off. Did the load test. Everything's checking out. A plus, passing grade. It's all good. So there you go. That's how to maintain the battery. I'll have links to all this stuff, the battery monitor and uh, the battery maintainers, you know. If you want to get the underhood one, I'll throw that on there. I'll get you the link to the SP3. That thing's pretty awesome, too. I like that one. And uh, I've got a review video for the SP3 if you want to check that out, learn, uh, learn a little bit more about that maintainer. It's a pretty good one. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. Get out there and maintain your batteries. See you guys in the next one.